what's this called? Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. That's what OCC stands for. And I am obsessed. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. So I just have a little haul for you guys today. I feel like I haven't done a haul video in forever. So I have a lot of stuff that I'm gonna break up into two videos for you guys so it's not insanely, insanely long. So this is the first round of haul video here. It's going to be all just random stuff that I picked up from just all different places and um, I'm just going to jump right into it. So I got two brushes. The first brush I'm gonna show you guys is this one. It's the Live Beautifully, it's the It Brushes for Ulta. This is a powder brush and I love it. It's kind of like a duo fiber brush. Um, it's really, really soft. It's got like the, it just picks up the perfect amount of powder and distributes it like really light and evenly on your face. It's like a really good just buffing in like a light amount of powder. When you dip it into powder, it doesn't pick up like a ton. It just gives like a perfect light application. So I've been using this in loose powders, compact powders, anything and it just has been working really good. The second brush I picked up is the Wayne Goss number no. three brush. It looks like this. It's one of his larger eye blending brushes and I love his brushes. I just have that other one which I use that you guys see me use the number two brush that I use to like set on my under eye and all you can do under eye, you can do bronzer, you can do anything with that brush. It is such a good brush. I wanted to try one of his eye brushes and I really am into these like bigger type of blending brushes. I feel like they just have been blending really well on my eyes. Like I used, I've been using my Hakuhoda brush that I just recently got and that's a larger size one too. And it just blends insanely. So I'm really liking the, the, the bigger size. I feel like it just gets up on my crease really good and just blends colors amazingly. So I wanted to try one of his and it is so good. This brush is amazing. Like I said, it's just kind of like the Hakuhoda one actually. It just is like the perfect size to really get in and just really blend in that crease and distribute the color like perfectly on your eyelid. So I like this one. You can actually take the color too and you can pat it on your eyelid. You can use it multiple ways on your eyes, but this brush is awesome. And that again is the number three and I am really loving this. I picked up a bunch of lip products. It's almost spring and my lip colors always, I always go through phases with like what I want to put on my lips and like spring and fall I just like go crazy with different lip products because I'm so excited for the change of season and putting different colors on my lips. So I have a lot of lip products here. The first two I picked up were the Anastasia Beverly Hills. These are the liquid lipsticks that just came out. I got the shades Pure Hollywood and Lovely. These, I have Pure Hollywood on my lips today with a gloss over top of it which I will talk about as well. Um, but these are really super nice. I've been really loving them. They are, um, they go on liquid, but then they dry matte very quickly, but they're not like an uncomfortable matte where it kind of just like sucks all the moisture out of your lips. I feel like um, when I wear these with no lip gloss, they still look really good on my lips. If you have dry lips, definitely put a gloss on top of them, but um, they work, they stay on your lips all day. Like you could be eating, drinking, kissing, they will stay on your lips all day long. They wear amazing. But I do like to wear a gloss like I have on today over top of them. It just, it really holds the color on your lips and then it just gives your lips like, you know, a little bit of glossiness as well. So you can do either way. You can just leave them just like this or put a gloss on and either way they honestly look amazing. But this is the color I have on today which is the Pure Hollywood which is the nude color of the bunch and it just looks like this and I love it. I've been wearing this with multiple different glosses on top. I have been wearing it with the NARS Striptease Gloss on top and it looks so good. So I've been just getting a lot of wear out of this. It's awesome. And then the other color is Lovely, which is more of just like a kind of like brighter neutral pink. It comes off a little bit brighter on my lips than it does on my hand, I feel. I don't know. But um, that is lovely. It's a really lovely color. And what I do sometimes is I'll mix actually the two of these colors together and it just creates like a really like pretty nudie pink color. But these two colors are awesome and I've been loving these new Anastasia liquid lipsticks. They are really good. Um, I picked up two lip liners. The first one is an hourglass lip liner. It's the shade Canvas. And I've been searching for like a baby pink that is like a true baby pink. Like I, I, was, I was swatching um, Chanel and Dior and they have like these baby pink ones but they always look brighter. Like they're, they come off like a brighter baby pink and I just wanted like a very neutral baby pink. This one like fits the bill. Like it is perfect. It just is like a perfect 
nudie baby pink. So it leans, it's not nude, it definitely leans more pink, but it's like a true, true baby pink. And this just looks so good with like all your baby pink lipsticks, like Mac Hue, you know, all that like really light pink lipstick. So that's what I was looking for. And I'm so glad I found this one because it's like perfect. And then I picked up a little Sephora lip liner. I don't know if you guys have ever tried these. They're the Sephora Nano Lip Liners. They're so cute. They're like literally like three or five dollars. You don't get a ton. It's a smaller size pencil, but I don't personally go through pencils very often. So a little size like this is perfect. This is in the shade 461C. Um, they don't come with um, names, just numbers. But this is another like pink. I got this one on my pink search as well. This is a really good cool tone pink. So I like a lot of cool tone pinks in the spring and summer. I just love that like cooler pink look. So this is going to be perfect for like all the cool tone lipsticks. So I have been really enjoying this one as well. And like I said, these Sephora little lip liners are actually really good quality. They're, like I said, you don't get a ton, but they last on your lips really well and they're super creamy and they're good. So I have been loving that color. So two good lip liners. I picked up a OCC lip tar. This is in the matte version and oh my God, this color is to die for. I've been wearing it constantly. It is the shade Hush. And if you guys have never tried these before, they just come in this like little squeezy tube like this. And they go on liquid but dry matte as well. Now this again, this is the matte version. They have other ones that do not dry matte. They just are like more of a just regular satiny finish. But their matte ones are super nice. And I'm really into the matte ones because I like how you can have the versatility of putting a lip gloss on top or leaving it matte and you just kind of get like the best of both worlds. So this color is a must if you like a good neutral pink. Wait till you see this color. Oh, it's like, I'm obsessed. Like, what's this called? Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. That's what OCC stands for. And I am obsessed with this color. It is just a perfect lip color and again you can just wear it this alone you can put a gloss on it this one these take a little bit to dry matte they don't dry matte instantly it takes a couple minutes but this color I'm telling you guys it is to die for on your lips and it is just the most beautiful baby pink shade it's such a wearable baby pink shade I should say it just it is amazing so I have been Really, really loving that, and I hope you can see that right there. So if you love like perfect pink lipstick, then you definitely have to check this out because I've been completely in love with that. Okay, moving on to this, I think, I don't even know how you say this name. Is it like Arian? Is that A-E-R-I-N, Arian? Um, I've never had any lipsticks by that brand before. This is in the, this is the Rose Balm lipstick in the shade Coral Sand. And funny story behind this is my uncle, well actually it's Brian's uncle, was, I guess he was shopping for something and he got like a gift with purchase at the Estee Lauder counter and he ended up giving me all the makeup because he knows uh, I'm a big makeup fan. And this color was in the gift with purchase and it is like insanely gorgeous. What Did I say the color? Coral Sand. Oh my God, this color I've been wearing and it is like the perfect spring and summer color. If you like corally pink colors, you need this in your life. I am not even joking. It is right here. It makes you look so like, it makes your skin look tan, makes your teeth look white. It like gives life to your skin, no joke. I am obsessed. So that's the color right there and I've been absolutely loving this color. It is amazing and I would never have found this color weren't it for him giving me this lipstick. So it is so funny that um, I just, how I got it. It's just, it's funny. But anyway, that color is amazing. And like I said, it's a perfect spring and summer color. Next the lip product is another by Terry. You guys know my obsession for, for by Terry is like nothing else. I'm telling you guys, if you have not tried anything from by Terry, you need to, because once you try one product, you will see just how insanely good that company is and you will not want to try anything else. Like it is so good. I picked up another one of the Hyaluronic Sheer Rouges in the shade Baby Bloom. And this shade just takes the cake. It's like a really pretty rosy pink shade and I'm just gonna put it over here. This is going to be another one that looks fabulous for spring and summer. It's like probably my favorite one out of the bunch. And it just looks like this. It's like the most beautiful pink shade 
and it's a little bit more like this one's more of a nudie pink that hush shade this one's more of a little bit brighter pink but it's not bright on your lips it's like beautiful on your lips and like i told you guys like these hyaluronic sheer rouges give your lips the most perfect color moisturizing last all day I am hooked, hooked, hooked on these so bad. And this color is probably actually my favorite one of the bunch now. And I just love it. I did pick up another one of the NARS Audacious lipsticks. This is in the shade Julie. This I had to find on the NARS website. They don't have this one on Sephora. This one is another, oh God, like these colors I got, I'm telling you are like all to die for colors. Like I can't even take it. This one is, so pretty. It's right here. Look at that. I mean, it's just insane. It's so beautiful. It's like a corally pink, but like more pink. It is just, a, again, just like gives your skin life. When I wear this, you just look, your face looks alive. Your skin looks great. It is just one of those colors. And I am loving that one as well. Okay, you guys are probably getting sick of my lip products, so this is the last one. So this is the Chanel Rouge Coco Shine in number 77 in Genou. And it's just like a really pretty, it looks like it would be absolutely nothing because it looks like this and it looks like it would just be nothing on your lips. But it's actually so pretty on your lips. It's like a peachy nude and you can just see how it just gives like, it just, it's not like, you know, a bright color or anything, but if you're looking for like that perfect like nudie, peach wash on your lips this is perfect i have been loving this and what i've been doing with this is i will put this on and then i will take like a little bit of a peach gloss and put it on top if i want to add a little bit more peachiness to it and it is insane like it is beautiful so that is just like the perfect like everyday peachy nude to kind of throw on your lips and i've been loving that so next thing on the list is this kojendo it's the Aqua Foundation Illuminator. This is in the shade Sheer Beige. My friend Dara showed this in one of her videos and I texted her, I'm like, okay, how good really is that product? Do I need it? Because in her video she was talking about how it would just gives like such perfect like illumination to her foundation. And you guys know I'm all about that. So I texted her, she's like, yes. She's like, seriously, you need it. She's like, it just works with every foundation and it's like perfect. So I love these type of things to put in with like my matte foundations. That way my skin still stays basically matte, but it does give a little bit more luminosity, but it doesn't change the formulation of like a matte foundation. So that's why I really love this type of that stuff. So this comes in two colors. It comes in like a sheer one and then this was like a beige one, but the beige doesn't change your foundation color at all. So it is just perfect. I have been loving it. It just looks like this. It comes out like a little liquidy. And you will see that when you mix this in with your foundation, how it just gives like the most perfect like illuminosity to your skin. It's not shiny, it's not glittery. When you mix it in with your foundation, it just gives this like really pretty glow. And that is just, it's just, that's, that's what it does. And it's just really pretty. So I have been loving this. I've used this a couple times now with some different foundations and Every time it did just look really natural and pretty and glowy. So I think this will be perfect for in the summer when I want to kind of just put a little bit of this in with my matte foundations and just give them like this little glow. And like you can see here, it is just really pretty. Okay, moving on to the next thing is the Sicily Bronzer. It's the Illusion Day. Oh, okay, I'm not even gonna try to say that. It's the Sun Glow Bronzing Gel Powder. So it's the Sicily Bronzer. And what's so cool about this is it's like a gel slash powder. So it's not super powdery. It's more of like, but it's not a cream either. Like it's so hard to explain. But the reason they do that, I mean, just look how gorgeous that is. But the reason they say they do that is because it's not going to look powdery on your skin. It's not going to leave like an extra layer on your skin. It literally sinks into your skin and gives like just this beautiful sun-kissed glow. And it seriously does. I am going to do a review just showing you guys, you know, all about this product because it is quite expensive. So I will do a whole review on this product and show you exactly how it applies and exactly what it looks like. But you can just see, I mean, it's like, oh God, it's so pretty. It just looks like this and seriously gives you the most sun kissed glow ever. It is stunning. It literally sinks into your skin. It doesn't look like you're even wearing a bronzer. This is the, probably the first bronzer that you put on that 
or that I've tried that just really doesn't even look like you're wearing anything. I mean, you could put this on bare skin and it looks like you're not, you don't have anything on. It's incredible. So I will go more in depth with this later, but as you can tell, it is insanely gorgeous and such a good bronzer. Okay, so back at Sephora now. I was in Sephora, I went to take a look at the Kat Von D, that Interstellar palette, which is like all those like silvery and cool tones. I went to look at that. I was watching it, looked at it a little bit, but then this was next to it and this caught my attention way more. It's the Kat Von D palette. It's the Monarch palette. And now I know I'm super late to the game on this one because it's been out a while now, but it really never caught my attention until I went to look at it. I mean, I've seen people do um, looks with this and everything and they were always gorgeous, but it just never caught my attention until I looked at it in person. And it is so pretty. If you like warm tones, these, I mean, they're warm and there's a couple cool tones, but it's basically like a warm tone palette. It is so pretty. The shadows are amazing. You get some like satin shades, some a little shimmery, not really anything crazy, and some matte shades. And I'm just going to swatch a couple of these colors because they are insanely pretty. And like the pigmentation is really good. Oh, the colors are gorgeous. So here are some of the shades right here. These are just very few of them. And these are more of the satiny ones. I didn't swatch any of the matte ones. I just wanted to show you kind of what these look like and how they're not like a glittery or shimmery. They're just like a really pretty like satiny sheen. And they're just seriously stunning. So I don't know if any of you guys want a look with this or anything. But if you have it, let me know and let me know your thoughts because I think this is gonna be a really great palette. I've only used it once so far, but I love it. Like I said, it just, there's a lot of different, really pretty looks you can get out of this palette. So I'm excited to try this one out and use this one some more. So that's the Kat Von D, the Monarch palette. Okay, and last but not least, my friend Lori, she's a subscriber, she lives in Canada. She sent me some beautiful Lise Watier products and you guys are so lucky if you're in Canada that you get to use these products and find them easily because they are so gorgeous. I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, I'm gonna start out with this blush because this blush is insane. Look at this packaging, it's so cute too. But this blush is pink powder blush and the design on it is so pretty and it just looks like this. Look at that design. But this blush, I've been wearing this the past couple days and it is like the perfect spring blush. It gives like the most amazing pink glow to your cheeks and it is honestly stunning. If you guys can find this in Canada, definitely you need to get this because it just like illuminates your skin with this like beautiful pink glow and it's honestly so pretty. I put this on the other day and I just felt so springy and glowy it's just gorgeous. So I've been loving that blush. And then she got me this. It's the Glamour Rose Illuminating Face and Body Powder. Another like fabulous packaging. Like look at that. It's so pretty. This powder is like, I've just been like kind of dusting this all over my face and it just gives your skin like a really pretty like glow again. It's not, um, it's not, I don't know if you can see it because it kind of blends in with my skin. It's not shimmery or glittery or anything like that. It just gives your skin this amazing glow. So this is a great powder. And then this gloss, oh, I've been loving it so much. It's the, what is this one? It's the Glamour Rose Gloss, the number 938. It is the most beautiful peachy nude, which is perfect because I am so all about like peachy nudes again. Like every time spring comes around, I'm like, always think like peachy nudes for my lips. I love peach colors. So she did perfect picking this color up because it is so gorgeous. Let me put that over here. It just looks, I wore this, um, I wore this the past couple days as well. And it just is like a really pretty like peachy nude gloss. I love it. It's like not sticky, lasts forever on your lips. Like her glosses are amazing. So thank you again, Lori. You know, I love these products so much. So that wraps up part one of this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.